Hi there. Sitamani again. How are you going today? Um, I'm in a funny location at the moment. I'm at the um, Gold Coast Arts Centre at Bundle. And um, I've actually come here because I'm waiting for my husband in between jobs. He's needs a shirt, needs a shirt change. <laughs> so I've come here to deliver him his shirt. There it is, lovely checked one, long sleeved. He started driving um, Hummers the other day and he loves it, loves driving them around. Because everyone's happy when they're getting a ride in the Hummer. They're on holidays. At uh, the moment it's schoolies here on the Gold Coast when all of the um, young children who finished high school, 18 year olds, most of them, come here for a holiday and a break after all their hard studies. Um, it's the most popular location in Australia for them to come. I think 30 or 40,000 of them are in uh, service paradise at the moment. Sorry about that. This car must be moving. Um, so the locals don't go anywhere near surface paradise while this is on because it's very very hectic and um, a pretty exciting time for all of the visitors that come from all over Australia Sydney, Melbourne, they all come up here for their um, school breakup. so it goes on for about three weeks you've got a week for New South Wales, a week for Victoria and a week for Queensland they're all at different times um, I wanted to talk to you and um, tell you about what I did yesterday. It was a, um, a new program that I just bought. It gives you, um, it's, it's been around for quite a few years actually, this program. I just had never bought it before. It's um, a system where they give you um, texts and keywords that are, uh, people are searching for, for solutions for things. So it's, it's a really a lazy man's way, or a lazy woman's way in my case, of blogging. And the first day they sent me five articles, and of course they say don't publish them, the articles as they are, you have to change them and um, either through doing it yourself and changing words, changing it around a bit, but just keep the gist of the article, put your own voice into it, or do what I do, I use a, a spin, spin rewriter and, and um, spin it, get a 92% original one and I still then put a few of my own words and things into it but they're about topics that I know nothing about but they're topics that people are searching for and the one I did yesterday was all about kennel cough in dogs and I've had dogs that have had kennel cough but I never knew that they called it kennel cough <laughs> um, so uh, I wrote five articles I did um, five videos not video sorry four videos and I just searched on YouTube for the videos oh that's the news I'll just turn that down it's not music on the radio at the moment listening to Triple J one of the most popular radio stations got all original Australian music on them um, so I, I just spun them and then uh, found the videos and downloaded a couple of them some of them I just linked directly to the video with my article and what else did I do? Uh, picked, selected the keywords I wanted. They give you a whole heap of keywords with um, different levels as to their difficulty, um, how easily they're searched, how many searches they get, all that sort of jazz. And uh, so I'd pick six to ten keyword phrases they actually are. They're not just single keywords. Pop them into my blog post. Bang. A couple of them I put a picture with them. Very, very easy to do. So I did five blog posts yesterday. Um, be interested in a week or so to see how they're faring um, on the search engines um, and it took me two hours to do five blog posts so um, I've got another five to do today and today this topic is about acid skin peels and that fascinates me because I think I might try it so I'm, I'm really enjoying the research into it I've never ever um, thought about it or you know researched it or looked into it before so it's interesting to me as well and of course what I'm finding is lots of interesting stuff that I can put into my blog posts which then make it interesting for the people that find them and having those skills now that I've learned through Empower Network how to use keywords and how important they are and where they go and of course having a high-ranking blog like the Empower Network blog um, people will find it and they'll find my videos and um, 
join me in my business. <laughs> so um, I'll put a link under here to both the uh, program that I use to spin my um, articles and also the program that where I'm getting all of this information from. And they'll be, oh, they'll be affiliate programs for me. So if you decide to look at them and buy them, I'll make a commission on it. Make that clear for you. Um, but, I, you know, it's making life easy. Um, not that it's hard to, to blog anyway. I blog about all sorts. But five a day is pretty good going, isn't it? And they're not just quick, take a video, blog it. They're quite comprehensive articles that I'm writing. So there you go. I'm sitting here waiting for my husband. And... Um, who knows where this video will go and who will see it but give me a yell reply to my video i will get it if you write a little note to me on my video i will get it um i get every single comment that people make on my videos come through to me to my uh, gmail so please leave me a comment good bad or indifferent whatever you think love to hear from you and um we'll connect hopefully uh, because I'm really enjoying this business and I know that you will too. It's easy and I really honestly would miss it if I stopped doing it for some reason. Like if I won the lotto and I got heaps of money, I think I'd still keep doing the business. I think I'd still keep blogging. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> because what's happening while I'm doing it, I'm changing too. Especially these videos. It's making me change. Probably making me a little bit more vain. I turn this camera on and I see all the wrinkles and I go, ah, I need a face peel. So I'm going to research it all more when I get home. Okay, guys, that's enough yabbering from me. See you next time. Ta-da.